if you have been dreaming of a prestigious sedan for a long time, but not like everyone else, but refined and thoroughbred, pay attention to the Jaguar S-Type. The car itself when buying will cost you inexpensively, but you will have to spend money on its maintenance. Jaguar cars occupy a special place among cars of other brands, respectively, and their prices bite. However, you can join the glorious history of the British company for quite same money, since used Jaguars quickly lose value. S-Type is no exception. In the secondary market, this sedan, there was no other body in the model range, was found mainly with gasoline engines. First there was a 3.0 L V6, 238 horsepower, and a 4 liter V8, 276 horsepower. In 2001, a 2.5 liter V6, 200 horsepower, appeared, and the V8 was squandered to 4.2 liters, and it began to produce 298 horsepower. With a compressor, put on the sport version of the S-Type with the letter R, he developed 395 horsepower. A 5-speed manual gearbox or a 6-band automatic is combined with the 6s. With V8 was only automatic transmission. Modifications with the 2.7-liter turbo diesel V6, 207 forces, which appeared in the lineup in 2005, are practically not found in our country. On the outside, the S-Type features distinctive Jaguar design. Inside, it is also saturated with the British spirit. However, against the background of solid and natural materials, upon closer examination, one can notice large gaps between individual interior panels. Illuminated in the corporate dark green color devices in RG, British Racing Green, are difficult to read in the daytime, especially in the sun. The cabin is spacious, both front and rear. True, the second row is still more comfortable for two passengers. The facilities are more than generous. Already in the standard S-Type there were 8 airbags, ABS with a brake force distribution system, power accessories, glasses, heated seats and mirrors, traction control and anti-skid systems. CD radio, onboard computer, 16-inch alloy wheels, climate control and fog lights. The average equipment included leather trim and 17-inch wheels, with a 3-liter V6, 18-inch. The top version featured more expensive interior trim and a 6-speed automatic. The Jaguar S-Type R was equipped as standard with air suspension and xenon headlights with washers. Buying a used Jaguar S-Type is a bit like playing roulette. You can become the owner of a well-groomed copy with minimal mileage and in good technical condition. By the way, there are many of them on the market. And you can get on a half-dead sedan with twisted mileage and non-native paint. Therefore, the choice should be approached with all the precautions. For example, gasoline engines are quite reliable and trouble-free especially on cars younger than 2003. However, for prevention purposes, the injector must be cleaned every 30,000 kilometers. From our gasoline, various electronic relays and blocks, as well as ignition coils and mass air flow sensors, often failed. Don't rush to get checked out if your 4.2-liter V8 with root supercharger idles erratically. This engine delivers the main thrust at maximum speed, and shaking and trimming during a stop are considered normal for no. Transmission diagnostics before purchase is also very desirable. However, the German-made ZF6 speed automatic transmission is quite reliable. But it happens that the manual electric brake drive module fails. The pre-2003 Jaguar S-Type suspension is a true testament to durability compared to pre-facelift examples that were more problematic. Mostly routine replacements in the chassis are required. Engines on the S-Type are V6 or V8 only. They are equipped with the chain and the timing gear drive. After 30,000 kilometers, spark plugs usually fail. It happens that the radiator tanks crack, which changes an assembly. Also be prepared for high fuel consumption. An automatic is far more common on a used S-Type than a manual. If the automatic transmission pan cracks, this leads to the loss of transmission fluid and the failure of the box. Therefore, from time to time it should be checked the integrity of the pan and the oil level. If jolts are felt while driving, reprogramming the automatic transmission unit may help. In the worst case, you will have to change the hydraulic valve block. The body resists rust well. But since only original parts are used for the S-Type, there are not so many third-party ones, the prices for them are quite high. The front double wishbone suspension worked well. Only after 40,000 kilometers will it be necessary to change the stabilizer struts. Hub bearings, ball bearings, and steering tips are not very durable. The rear suspension is multi-link. After 60,000 kilometers it may, 
need to replace the stabilizer struts. Shock absorbers take a little longer. Numo elements are much more expensive. Solid blocks of levers serve about 150,000 kilometers.